Technology is a wonderful tool that helps us do math. Notice that I said helps us do math and not does math for us. In this video, what I want to do is show you how to solve a polynomial inequality. And I want to do that using the Desmos graphing calculator. So let's say I wanted to find out when this polynomial is greater than zero. If you know anything about graphs, you should be able to look at this and see that this polynomial is greater than zero whenever it's above the x-axis. Desmos is handy and even tells me the x-intercept or the point when the graph passes through the x-axis. So in this case, when x is anything greater than one, you can see as I move to the right, the function goes upwards above the x-axis, or y equals zero. You can see that anything on the left of the x-intercept of one is actually below the x-axis. So that would not be considered a solution to this inequality problem. So we can say the solution to this inequality problem is all x values that are greater than one. Now if I graph the line y equals zero, what I'll see is a horizontal line along the x-axis. This makes it even clearer that this function is greater than zero after the x-intercept of one. Now if I change that equal sign to a greater than symbol, Desmos will even shade the region where this function is greater than zero. So that's really it for finding out where a polynomial is greater than zero. It can be done very easily just by understanding how to read a graph. Without technology, I'd have to factor this cubic, probably using something like polynomial long division or synthetic division, which would take quite some time. I could find the x-intercept of one, and then I could use a table to test values on either side of one to find out if the function is greater than zero or not. You can also use Desmos to solve more complex inequality problems. Like let's say I wanted to find out when two x cubed minus x squared plus x minus two is greater than x squared minus x minus two. If I graph these two polynomials on the same axis, you can see that the purple graph, x squared minus x minus two, is on top of the cubic until this point. As I move to the right, after this point, the cubic becomes the polynomial that's on top of the quadratic. This means that two x cubed minus x squared plus x minus two is greater than x squared minus x minus two for all values of x that are greater than zero. You can see that that quadratic will never go on top of that cubic, which makes sense because the cubic's growing at a much greater rate. You can also use Desmos to solve really crazy inequality problems that you wouldn't otherwise be able to solve using algebra. For instance, let's say I wanted to know when the sine of x squared is greater than the logarithm of sine of x. I personally don't even want to think about the process you would use to solve such an inequality algebraically. Desmos will actually tell me the points where these functions intersect, meaning sine of x squared is greater than log of sine of x anywhere before this point until about this point. I'm not going to get specific with this problem, I just really want to show you how powerful this technology is. I hope this video helped show you the power of technology when solving polynomial inequalities. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching.